In media news, longtime NBC reporter and analyst William Arkin has left the network and wrote a scathing memo on his way out. In the memo, Arkin condemns the media's reporting on U.S. wars and says he's not interested in taking part in the Trump circus. He writes, quote, I find it disheartening that we do not report the failures of the generals and national security leaders. I find it shocking we essentially condone continued American bumbling in the Middle East and now Africa through our ho-hum reporting. Arkin goes on to write about the network's coverage of the Trump administration. Of course, Trump is an ignorant and incompetent imposter, and yet I'm alarmed at how quick NBC is to mechanically argue the contrary, to be in favor of policies that just spell more conflict and more war, Arkin wrote. You can see our past interviews with William Arkin at our website, democracynow.org. And in New York City, 11 activists who are currently fasting to protest the ongoing U.S.-backed Saudi-led war on Yemen were arrested yesterday for blocking the entrances to the U.S. mission to the United Nations. Protesters who were standing quietly with banners were charged with disorderly conduct before being released. They enter their sixth day of fasting today, with planned actions in front of the United Arab Emirates, French and British missions to the U.N. On Friday, they'll protest in front of Lockheed Martin's New York City offices. This is Kathy Kelly of Voices for Creative Nonviolence speaking before her arrest yesterday. We're a group of people with a deep and abiding concern about the United States policies, especially as they enact them in the United Nations, failing to save the lives of 87,500 children who are really starved. See all our interviews with Kathy Kelly, including our November interview about the Saudi and U.S. role in Yemen, go to our website at democracynow.org. And those are some of the headlines. This is 